Welcome back to Rashley's Border Q, where today we're going to be taking a look at the Chef's Temp Final Touch Handheld Thermometer. In full disclosure, they sent me this demo unit as well as several demo units to give away. So we're going to take a look at it and see how it stacks up. We'll be right back. It's well packaged in a sturdy box. Can't bounce around in the box. I'm going to get it out of the box and we'll take a quick look at it. Run some tests, see how accurate it is. We're going to do a boiling water test and an ice bath test. There's a warning on the plastic that covers the display that says not to put the probe into fire or any object over 572 degrees. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. That's not a problem. I'll go ahead and remove that sticker and we'll get started. The thermometer has several cool features. It has a hold button so while you're taking your temperature you can press hold and then you can take the thermometer away and get a better look at it. See what the temperature is. It's an easy on feature the probe is stored right here. When you pull the probe out, the unit automatically comes on. The display is easy to read, large, large numbers. It has a 270 degree range of rotation, but I do notice that when you go beyond this position here, it automatically shuts off before it's completely stored. However, I don't think you'll be taking temperatures like that, maybe like that, which uh, is just fine. All right, we got some boiling water heating up. And while it heats up and while our ice bath comes to temperature, let me uh, tell you about a few of the features. This reads from negative 22 degrees to 572 degrees Fahrenheit. As it comes from the factory, it has a resolution of 0.1 degrees. I don't know any of us in the barbecue industry that really need 0.1 degree accuracy but it's there well let me rephrase resolution because we don't know it's accurate to 0.1 degrees it has a resolution of 0.1 degrees the response time is supposed to be two to three seconds and it should read within one degree of the final temperature of an ice bath ice bath within three seconds the probe display is 4 inches long by 1.86 inches high and you can see that the numbers take up a fair part of that so it's easy to read, large numbers. The display is auto rotating so as you rotate the thermometer you don't have to punch buttons to rotate the display into the orientation you want. That's a cool feature. So even though it has an accuracy range of minus 22 to 572, the operating range of the unit itself is minus 4 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So 4 degrees below zero up to 122, the unit itself should work and it'll read temperatures probing minus 22 to 572. It uses two AAA batteries, which is really nice. You don't have to go out and hunt for specialty batteries. Well, those are the specs. I'm getting the water warmed up. While that happens, I'm going to get an ice bath started, and I'll bring you all back when we do the tests. Okay, we've got an ice bath here. It's kind of slushy ice as well as some fairly larger pieces, but I tried to chop it up in such a way that we got a lot of slushy ice. That way... Uh, the, the temperature of the water will come down closer to 32 actual degrees. So, 1,001, 1,002, 32.9. I don't know about y'all, but uh, I don't think my barbecue needs closer than, than that accuracy. In comparison, here's a Thermalworks Thermapen. 1,001, 1,002. It's reading 32 degrees but it only has a resolution of one degree. So 
It could be 32.9, we, we don't know for sure. And as a final comparison, we have a Thermalworks Thermopop. Thirty-two degrees, again with a resolution of one degree. So, with the higher resolution, this one could be more accurate than the others. Let's try it one more time. Thirty-two point nine, thirty-two point seven, thirty-two point seven. I'll check the manual and see if it can be calibrated. Now, in addition to the ice bath test, we're going to do a boiling water test. Now I want you to keep in mind, if you don't live at sea level, this should not be accurate at all because water boils at 212 degrees at ambient pressure at sea level. So it just depends on what your altitude is. We only live about 90 feet above sea level, so this is going to be pretty close. 212.7.3. Two hundred and twelve degrees is what I'm going to call it. Take one more shot so I can make sure the display is showing. Two hundred and twelve point five point one. Two hundred and twelve degrees. The hold feature. Two hundred and twelve point five. Now again, in comparison. Here's the Thermalworks Thermapen. That's as far as it'll rotate. So you can't go beyond. The numbers don't auto rotate. So let me see if I can do this without getting burned. 213 degrees. There's no hole feature, so I can't do this and bring it up. Just hopefully you can read it there. 213 degrees. And the Thermalworks Thermopop is the last one. Let me try it from over here. Hopefully I can do it without blocking your view. The steam's just too hot. Two hundred and twelve degrees on the Thermalworks Thermopop. So, all of these are pretty close. But again, on the Thermopop, you have to uh, push a button to rotate the numbers on the back. On the Thermopin, the numbers won't rotate at all. They're in a fixed orientation. On the Chef Temp, the numbers auto rotate. You can adjust the position of the probe, like right here, I don't have to get my two hundred and twelve point three. Pretty much right on the money. Just depends on how close I hold it to the bottom, because as you raise the the pin in the water column, the temperature will be lower toward the top, because the water actually cools as it rises but it's still right around 212 degrees, right on the money. So this is a very accurate, very fast handheld thermometer and has a lot of cool features. Now I'm not trying to sell it to you, I'm just pointing out the differences in the different thermometers, but uh, we'll go take a look online and see what it sells for in comparison to the others. I'm not gonna do a direct comparison on the video, but I'm just gonna let you know what this sells for. But if you do the research on your own and it looks like something that you want, I'll put a link to where you can buy it down in the description box. Let's do something a little different. We're going to come out of the hot water so it's all warmed up and go straight into the ice water bath. One, two, 32.7 degrees. <laughs> That's fast. The hot water is cooling down, but it was still over 200 degrees, straight into the ice bath, and within two seconds, you're already at a final cold temp, 32.5. That's pretty fast. That's pretty good. 
Included in the package is this handy temperature guide with temperatures for beef, poultry, and fish. And it has the minimum safe temperature. The temperature that you choose is up to you, but these are the minimum safe temperatures. Cool. To change the batteries, there's two screws. They're Phillips head. My screwdriver is kind of short, but it takes several turns to get them completely out. Once you've loosened the screws, you can remove the cover. It has a gasket because this is waterproof to three feet, 3.3 feet, one meter, and I'm not sure what the time length was. Now we mentioned calibration earlier. The calibration button is right here under this cover and there's also a button to change between Fahrenheit and Celsius if you choose to do so. Make sure that the gasket is clean, no foreign objects on it, and then replace it and tighten the screws which I'll do off camera. One last feature, that's right, it has a magnetic backing so you can just place your thermometer on something made of metal and there you go, there's your storage, that's cool. So there we go, the Chef Temp handheld thermometer seems like a good deal. We'll know for sure once we look it up online and see what the price is compared to other thermometers. Comes with a magnet, temperature guide, owner's manual. <clears throat> it's well packaged. Uh, I think y'all should check it out for yourself. I'll be doing a giveaway. So if you stay tuned to the end, you now know that we're going to be giving some of these away. I'm going to select from the comments below with an automatic program and see who the winner is going to be. So thanks for watching our review of the Chef Temp handheld thermometer. We hope you all enjoyed it here on Rashley's Border Q. We hope the winner of the thermometer is going to enjoy it. I'm going to give you one week to make comments on this video and then we're going to select a winner. So stay tuned to Rashley's Border Q for more videos and we'll catch you all later on down the road. Adios.